Good morning. Good morning to you. Yes, you want to see my little good morning dog, dog to Grayson, who's supposed to be over there eating breakfast. Why don't you just go over there and eat your food instead of harassing me over here? He has, he told me plug up that light. He's like, oh shit, it's going down, it's going down. Here come Ginger. Here come Ginger. Give me a Ginger, my sweet cake. Now, now she she come. She was over there at eating. She was like, oh wait, wait a minute, what's going on? Oh, what was going on? It's a weird beeper noise going on in this house. Oh, goddamn microwave. You know you be hearing stuff beeping you're like, what the fuck is that? No. Anyway. Today it is Monday, April 3rd, the year 2023, getting a little bit closer to my birthday, my 53rd birthday. You know, my 50th birthday was a mess, y'all. It, it was horrible because we were in the middle of COVID and I had planned to have this really nice birthday party. Then COVID hit and then we were stuck in the house. Then my 51st birthday, 51st birthday rolled around. We still was dealing with COVID, so I didn't have a birthday party then. My 52nd birthday rolled around. I had brought this old raggedy termite infested house over here with no termites in there. Just teasing her. But then I was busy working on this, so I couldn't really do nothing last year. And now I'm 53. Uh, there never will be no birthday party because I'm going on a cruise. I decided to go on a cruise and get out of Atlanta. I'm tired and I needed a break. And if you're wondering what all that racket is, if you're wondering what all that racket is, this is what's going on. And if you're wondering who's on top, that was Ginger. So, well, no, that was Grayson that time. Get out! Ginger, get off the couch. Get your ass down. You better get down. Get out. Anyway, today, like I said, it's been a little, uh, well, I would say it's been a productive weekend. I mean, got a lot accomplished before I get out of town. I'm trying to get a lot accomplished. This weather is crazy. It's supposed to rain. Pour down rain. That's why the sun is dark. Okay, wait a minute. Get out of here. Move. I'm going to put y'all back outside. Especially you, Ginger. Anyway, it's supposed to rain most of the day today. So I'm trying to get everything done before the rain starts. I had to renew the tags on these vehicles, but the tag. Well, you know, some of these cars need emission stickers. I was like, emission stickers? Lord, I can do that. I gotta, I gotta go take them and go get the emissions on these fucking cars. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's do all this stuff. Ginger, why? It's so early in the morning. What What, what are you so grouchy about? Why are you so mean it's, it's early in the morning? It's too, it's, too, it's just too early for all that. It's too early. It's just too early. You know, go on over y'all have some breakfast. I'm about to put the one that porch out there before it rains. But anyway, it's been a journey over here, I can say. A long time. So, I don't know. I'm just trying to reflect on my birthday and the stuff that I want to do on this cruise and stuff. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm afraid I gotta go to my Walmart, Walmart and get a bunch of stuff for my cruise. I need some lotions and soaps and tanning supplies. So I won't be on the ship. And some. I like to make sure I have medicine on that ship um, because you never know what might happen. Imodium AD in case you have diarrhea, Pepto Bismol, um, antibiotics in case you run into a virus out there. I like to have all my alcohol that will wipe everything clean down, Lysol spray. Shit, you never know what's going on in these cruise ships. And I haven't really been on a cruise since 2000. This is my first cruise since 2019. Yeah. Anyway, yesterday I did that story about, and it stuck in my head about that man who stabbed that woman a hundred times, his girlfriend, and then threw her do their child into a river and when an alligator got hold of it. It's just crazy. 
because we've, we've seen this so so often. So many of our black men are going through so many severe mental health issues that it's ridiculous. But we've seen it a thousand times where these guys will. These are horrible situations that don't make sense. You have to wonder about you know, what's the point. Why do something so horrible to somebody? Why? Why? What goes through a person's head to do something that terrible? At least three people shot in downtown Atlanta overnight. Some some three people were shot somewhere in the downtown. I don't know. Downtown is still having a lot of issues. Um. Well, I got a lot of issues going on downtown. Wanted man arrested after shooting at roommate. Which, uh, you know, we got them guns. We know you. He just shot his roommate. Driver taken to custody for shooting firearm to a crowd of hundreds near Georgia State campus. I think that's the news video. I was, I was looking for a lot of people spinning these cars around. But first, let's look at this. The wanted man arrested after shooting that roommate, a man who is considered one of the 10 most wanted in Clayton, was captured last month. On February 22nd, Clayton police arrived at a home on uh, Jimmy Lee Circle in Jonesboro for a shooting. When they arrived, they made contact with a victim who told officers that his roommate, Quintavious Brown, had put a gun up to his head. The victim told officers that he pushed Brown away in an attempt to save his life while Brown then fired his gun in the direction of the victim and immediately ran away. After a short investigation, Brown was charged with aggravated assault, possession of a, possession of a firearm due to the commission of a felony, and theft by receiving. With the help of College Park Police, Clayton, De Clayton deputies found Brown in their jurisdictions and arrested him without incident. You know, I want to wonder what that was about. You know, so there's something really weird going on with a, lot, with a lot of these black folks when it comes to crime, but, you know, it, it's very bizarre how many of us have guns that are not supposed to have guns, and you got these guns and they run around here and y'all, they do some crazy shit. You know, it just makes you wonder, you know, what goes into a person's mental, you know, what's, what's going on in their head when they're doing all this crazy shit. Can't sit down and talk, huh? Oh, dang it. I just saw what I wanted to read to you all, too. I can pull it up on the phone. It popped up and vanished. There we go. Well, man fatally shot after having guns stolen in Clayton County, too. Let's see what this is. A man had his up holster gun stolen. A man had his holstered gun stolen Thursday afternoon before being fatally shot in Clayton County, police say. Shannon Watkins entered a store in the 500 block of Flint River Road with a holster weapon on his hip to buy a drink about 1 p.m. While the 37 waited in line, another man entered the store and stood behind Watkins. That man then grabbed Watkins' gun and ran out the store, according to authorities. In an attempt to defend his property, this was the start. Mr. Watkins engaged in a struggle with the suspect, which led to several shots being fired at Mr. Watkins. As Watkins tried to flee from the gunfire, police said that another, another suspect got out of a vehicle and began firing, and firing at the victim. Both suspects then fled the scene in a white Chrysler 300. Watkins was shot multiple times and died at a hospital. At a hospital. Detectives said they were able to identify Chris Evan, Jr., 18 as one of the suspects and arrested him Friday. He is facing charges of murder, aggravated assault, with intent to kill, robbery, first degree coaching to children, first degree criminal damage, damage discharge of a firearm, no weapon, reckless conduct, and possession of a weapon in the commission of a crime. And the authorities did not say who the second victim was. So he, this guy was just in the store. 37 years of age, and some teenagers came in there. They grabbed his gun and ran out. I don't know what to If somebody grabs your gun and ran out, I think I probably would just let them have it at that point. I'm not going to go out there fighting with nobody with no damn gun. 
yeah, it's your property. They got the gun, and they're going to use it against you. Um, I probably, I, I'll choose my life over that incident. All right, so move on to the next one. Oh, shoot, dang it. Another shooting turns deadly at a metropolitan, metropolitan convenience store. For the second time this week, crime scene tape was strung up outside a convenience store on Southwest Atlanta's busy metropolitan parking during the second, so they didn't have two shootings at this gas station. Two men were shot Friday at the Exxon station just south of Lexington Avenue after getting into a dispute. One was killed, and the other showed up wounded on Hope Street a few blocks away. The two men who appeared to be in their 20s and 30s were customers of the Exxon convenience store. They were customers. The slain man, whose name was not released, was already dead when the officers arrived at the gas station around 2 a.m. The other shooting victim was stable when he was taken to a hospital. Though our detectives are still gathering evidence, Smith said the double shooting appears as a targeted event. It was not clear if anybody else was involved. Before sunrise Friday, uniform officers filled the gas station parking lot as crime scene technicians placed items as evidence. A body, was, a body was removed from the inside of the convenience store. So he was shot inside the store in a black bed. Uh, it was a familiar scene because just three days before, a half mile down the road, another man was fatally shot at the Metro Pit Mart on the corner of Metropolitan Parkway in Gill Avenue. I'm very familiar with these areas. Those areas are going through gentrification houses are not cheap over there, and they got all this shit going on over there. Okay. This is not too far from Tyler Perry Studios, too. Uh, Derek Williams, 51, was found in critical condition when the officers arrived. Responded at about 7.30 p.m. And he died at the hospital. No suspects have yeah, he was there. Well, he was, I think that's interesting. Cause, hmm, I know somebody named Derek Williams. I'm gonna have to look this person up. 51 years of age, close to my age, too. Hmm, yeah. All right, Atlanta police have investigated a total of four shootings at Metropolitan Parkway gas stations, food marts, and convenient corner stores, including a shooting in January at the same Exxon gas station. Uh, before this week, none of them were fatal. Three stores, four violent crimes. Uh, Metropolitan is crazy. Mm, I don't go nowhere near my metropolitan. Mm -mm. Here's another interesting story. Henry County man sentenced to life for killing pregnant teen, her boyfriend. A man was sentenced to life in, life in prison in the 2019 deaths of a pregnant teenager and her boyfriend in Henry County. Elagion Antoine Joyner, 20, they're also young, just stupid. Pleaded guilty Wednesday to two counts of aggravated, two counts of malice murder, felony murder, feticide, aggravated assault, armed by possession of family. Just goes on and on and on. He was 17 at the time of the incident. He was 17. He was sentenced to additional. Uh, the motive for the 2019, November 2019 killings was drug related. Authorities said. Joyner had texted Savannah Fulmer, 18, and her boyfriend, Damir Robinson, 19, to meet him by marijuana. They agreed to meet in a cul-de-sac in New on New Orleans Way in the Atlanta in the city square subdivision of McDonald. But Joyner later told police he not bring any money intended on robbing the victims, so he didn't have any money to rob them. I, you know what? I'm looking at these pictures, I remember this. I remember this incident. While sitting inside Fumer's, Fumer's car, officials say Joyner fatally shot Robinson and Fumer in the head before fleeing. Fumer's unborn child also died. Terrell Wells called police on Thanksgiving morning, I remember this, after she approached the vehicle and saw a male in the passenger with a bullet wound to the temple. That was Thanksgiving day, I remember this. Fumer was a senior at Eagles Landing High School and played for the softball team. Robinson was a 2019 graduate of Woodland High School. The two have been in a relationship for three years. Fumer's mother told the judge about the impact of losing her only daughter, her own born granddaughter, and Roxy. Welcome to Niggerville, y'all. This, this kid went over there and shot this, these two people in the head 
over some marijuana. He robbed him over over some money. He didn't have no money, and, to, and she rode with him to the, uh, who was it? He killed, I remember this happened. So she was 18 and he was 19, the two victims. I remember this picture, I remember this. He was a senior in high school. Yeah. Hey! Enough. It's too early for this. I keep telling y'all that. Now you have to wonder about these people. We can go on and 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 on with the crazy shit that happens in Atlanta. I even look in the surrounding suburbs with all the other some stuff that happened at various other places I didn't didn't get a chance to talk about, but I got to get dressed and get my ass over to Walmart, and I got to go someplace else. I got so much shit I need to do this week. But anyway, it's a short little video. I just want to go over the, the uh, unfortunate incidents of crime here in Niggerville. Y'all watch it back out there. And he just makes you wonder. Because we don't have a problem with killing each other in a heartbeat. We don't. We'll shoot each other dead in a heartbeat over nothing. They see this man walking to a gas station with a gun and say, we going to get that gun. These teenagers. There's a 40 year old man, damn near 40 years of age. He should not have ran out there. But it just, but I gotta look up Derek Williams and see who that was. Nah, no, because I have a sneaky suspicion the name sounds very familiar. And I have a friend who is a nurse who lives in that area, down there off Metropolitan. I forget what they call it, that name of that neighborhood down there. Going through gentrification, all these shootings going on, and you got million dollar houses off Metropolitan Parkway, literally million dollar houses. That's why I didn't buy none of that shit. Y'all, when I was looking at homes, I looked off Metropolitan Park, I said, I, I can't do it. You got Eight Air Park, uh, Pittsburgh, and there's another neighborhood of Huddersfield off Deal. But I said, I can't do this. Uh, or I, I was there, two, there are four neighborhoods down there. I almost said one of them. But anyway, I said, I can't get down here, must these things. Too many heathens down there, they didn't think you dead. I said, nah, fuck that shit. Didn't want all that. Hey! Ginger! Barking at the birds. Anyway, she interrupted this video. Let me get out of here. Today is Monday, April 3rd. The year is 2023. I'm out of here, and I'll speak to you all.